Hi everybody, my name is Thanatos Deck, and I'm here to bring you guys another StarCraft commentary. We have here Phosian from XTX Soul versus Wujin Stars Zero. Uh, Phosian won first the first match for XTX Soul, and this game is going to be played on Empire of the Sun. Um, this map is heavily in favor of Terran players because of the ridges around um, the expansions and um, especially the middle area which has hills that the Terran player can put siege tanks on top of and it's just really hard for um, other races to push up that hill. Here we have Rosian in the 2 o'clock position as the yellow Terran and in the Four, six, sorry, seven o'clock position is the red Zerg player uh, zero. Uh, I would like to take this time to thank everyone who's been commenting um, and providing suggestions uh, for my commentary. And I hope that um, I will be able to use your comments and suggestions to improve my commentating. And um, we have right here. Uh, Vosian building a supply depot. I believe he's going to wall off again like he did in game one. Um, Zero right now, probably building a overlord. Yes, definitely an overlord. And I believe he's going to send that overlord into the two o'clock position. And I think he sent also sent a overlord um, to the four o'clock position. Uh, but he's not going to find anything. And yes, Fuzian did go for that uh, wall off with his barracks. Um, Zero right here, putting down that fast. Um, expansion and he's going to be able to have a economic lead um, against Frozian. Oh and he's also sending a drone scout um, just for that quicker um, inform scout information but I don't think he will be able to slip past unless he is able to pull off some really really good uh, micro um, in the first game where Soki was able to slip that drone in there. Unfortunately, um, he was not able to do anything about that. Um, looking here, um, Frozian is... Wow! Wow! Frozian is building a, a quick command center. That is really interesting. I guess he want, he feels safe enough to build um, an expansion uh, inside his base so he can float over. Uh, but hmm, I don't know about that. Um, well, we'll have to see, I guess. Um, and finally, Zero's drone is able to scout uh, from Zian's base. Oh, that drone is taking so much damage. And I believe Frozen, yes, Frozen did send a scout of his own to um, Zero's base. And Zero put down his third hatchery inside his base. Interesting choice. Um, oh, and finally, a second Rax for, um, for Frozen. And Frozen's SCV scout is able to find that base of Zero. Oh, and, oh wow, that's really good micro for uh, Zero with his drone. Um, deterring that SCV scout, but uh, unfortunately that SCV scout eventually did get in and he sees that um, refinery and also that third hatchery. And um, Zero put, did put down a sucking, sunken colony at the front of his base. I guess it's um, just in case? Hmm. I don't know. I, I guess he was expecting some aggressive play from Frozen. Um, that's interesting. Uh, right here we have a small force of three marines coming out. Uh, I think, oh, okay, they're just making sure there's no zergling outside uh, of his base. And wow, there's the lair tech from Zero. And wow, that SCV scout has been there forever. Um, I think Zero should really take that one. Oh, a second um, gas for um, Zero. And let's see here. Frozen is doing such a good job in keeping up with the economic um, uh, event, uh, keeping up with the economic of the Zerg. Oh, and wow, Zero just making more 
making use of all those larvae and making more drones from that third hatchery inside his base. And uh, oh, and we have a small force of four marines coming, um, just probably hoping to do some harassment uh, for Frozen, but it's scouted out by um, Zero with his Zergling. And a Hydralis then for Zero. Interesting. Interesting. Um, unless unless Fozian is able to scout this, I don't think he'll be too prepared, actually. But um, we do see a force of five marines and two medics coming um, at the front base of um, Zero. Um, I don't... Well, I don't think that Zero has enough to deal with this unless he starts morphing Zerglings right now. Um, and Zero does know about this push, um, and he's desperately trying to put up um, some defenses before um, Rosian's uh, forces reach here. And there is two more fire bats coming to um, aid in the fight. And wow, the, and. And Zero doing a very good job um, slipping those Zerglings past um, those that main force there, and um, I and they were trying to go for a surround. That's such a good play. Uh, and now I yes, they the Zerglings are going to go and do some har um, try to do some harassment back at the base, and Vosian has no choice but to pull back with his forces. Unfortunately, he did not do anything with that um, force of uh, Marines and Firebats, and um, and. Fozian does have stim up for his forces, and I don't know what Zero is going to be able to. Do. Oh wow! Oh, trying to get the surround. Oh yes, very nice, very nice, very nice. Um, he was able. Zero was able to take um, out a fire bat and some marines, but unfortunately did not get a good enough surround to get the rest of those forces. And um, Fozian now putting up some turrets. Um, I don't. I think he thought that there was going to be some um, mutas coming, but unfortunately for him, he's just those minerals should could have been put into better use. Um, I don't think he actually had it scanned because if he did scan, oh, very nice. Um, Zero actually put his lurker eggs um, with by his hatchery so that uh, when if. Um, Frozian scans, he would have mistaken them for um, the just larva building um, units. And uh, oh wow, the, I'm just so excited about this. And Frozian a little bit missed Michael trapped his uh, SCP behind the turrets. And finally, he's macroing up with his um, with his uh, barracks. And re um, I think he's just going to go M and M's. But unfortunately for him, Zero does have lurker tech up. And I th if if Frozian does not scout this, he is going to be very. De oh yes, um, there is the science facility for. Um, Frozen, and I think he will be okay and nice. Um, Zero actually researched te uh, drop tech and actually is going to be able to take those uh, one of those island um, expansions, and that's going to be very safe um, for him uh, given this um, medic marine force. Oh, and there is dropship play from Frozen. I wonder how effective this will be um, if, if Fozian is able to take that dropship and be able and drop um, into that uh, new expansion there. I, that's going to do so such um, heavy economic damage. Oh, and unfortunately for Foz oh, actually that was very good, Michael. Oh, unfortunately for, uh, Zero does scout that with his zerglings. Oh, that is such that is very oh oh oh, oh wow. Oh, Fozian actually found um, Zero's uh, expansion top um, at the 12 o'clock expansion, and at the same time, I think Fo uh, Zero is actually taking the 6 o'clock expansion as well. Wow, that is such ballsy play um, from Zero. But unfortunately, fortunately for him, um, he did get the 6 o'clock expansion up, but he did lose the 12 o'clock expansion in, uh, in the process. And we do have lurkers at, um, up the ramp, and I think, I don't know if Frozian actually knows that there is uh, lurker tech out. Um, 
Oh, wow, the search. Oh, unfortunately for Frozian, he lost that drop ship full of units as he was desperately trying to um, drop them. And yes, now Frozian does know that there are lurkers out. And with that Siren Special out, oh, um, this is not going to work too well. Um, what, what Zero needs to do is. Um, get that, um, be able to get the defiler tech out and um, just put swarms everywhere and um, Zero is still, is going to go for his fourth uh, base, uh, fourth, ooh actually I think he's going to take his, the expansion close to his uh, starting position as well as the fourth position. Four, four o'clock position, um, and yes, um, Zero does have the Defiler mount, and um, it's. I think this is crucial timing for um, our Terran player Frozian right now. He is pushing and pushing um, before he needs to get that. He needs to do some damage before that Defiler comes out. And yes, Siege Tank um, at the front of um, Zero's base. Um, and, and what Zero needs to do is just buy enough time, buy enough time for that defiler to come out and be able to put down the swarm. And oh, very nice. Um, Zero is able to take out the expansion that Frozium was trying to build. Oh, and yes, there goes the swarm um, for uh, Zero. And unfortunately for Frozium, he is forced to back out now. Uh, but. Oh, this, yeah, th this is such interesting play, and here comes the dropship, I'm assuming is full of um, units, and unfortunately for Zero, he did not, he was not able to catch those units in transition, um, 